Hi, this is my project proposal for the director's project. So the first question is how, um, it's not how, it's identify your own needs as a director and how this will influence your work as a project. So obviously we're in a lockdown and I wanted to do a stage piece, but I know that it's not very likely that it will be on the stage. So I know now that I need to adapt to screen. I'm not very good at screen, but it means that I'm gonna have to research more and adapt more um, to get it onto the screen and look as good as it would if it was on the stage, which I don't believe is possible, but we can try. Um, I need to rely on my actors to work hard as well because the piece that I'm producing isn't the easiest thing um, and I've made it that way on purpose. I didn't want it to be this really basic thing, I wanted it to be quite difficult um, and so I'm relying on my actors to keep up to deadlines of getting their lines learned, of getting a costume ready, getting this done, you know, all of that sort of stuff um, and going by my production schedule that I've written and I'm updating um, consistently throughout the week. Um, and. I like my time scales of the day um, because I have a lot of other things going on even though it is a lockdown I don't have as much going on as I would I am watching my sister's kids at the minute while she's at work because she's a key worker and so I don't have the same amount of time as everybody else so it's planning around that and trying to get everything done that needs to be done in that time time frame that I am given um, which so far has gone pretty pretty well and it's just like um, it means that I'll be working whilst I have the kids or not and that's fine and it's not that big of an issue, issue. it's just certain pieces are a bit more difficult. Um, what performance medium have you chosen, stage or screen? Uh, what stylistic, no, what style slash practitioner have you chosen and what stimuli have you chosen and why? So I, I chose stage because I prefer stage acting. I've got more experience in it. I want to go into it after college as well, after university and all of that. Stage acting is what I want to be doing and so it'd be cool to obviously experience that more. Um, and I really miss being on stage and I really really thought that we would be on stage but obviously we're not but that's okay um, and to be honest if I went into screen I wouldn't enjoy it as much and I don't think that I would have as much of an idea of what I'd be doing. Um, the practitioners I chose or the practitioner that I chose was Burkhoff because I wanted to do Brecht and Arto but after researching more because I researched all four no I researched those three Brecht, Arto and Ber Burkhoff I realised that Berkhoff is literally just Brecht and Arto mashed into one um, and so he has all of the stylistic qualities and all of the techniques that I like from Arto and Brecht and doesn't have the ones that I don't like which is really cool. Um, the stimuli that I chose was the poem because it interested me, it intrigued me to be honest as I, as I read through it and it gave me a very feminist vibe and that's the sort of theme that I would like to look at. Um, I definitely really enjoy um, making pieces that are educational um, and can bring new light to different situations and so I think that looking at feminism would be a really good theme for me and the poem just accommodated that perfectly. Um, what do you know about the stylistic qualities that of said practitioner and what um, initial ideas apply to this performance? So I love his expressionism, I love the amount of expressionism he uses um, and the style that he uses um, and so I really would like to put that into my piece and I have. I've used a lot of um, over -exaggerate, exaggerated body language and facial expressions that he does. That's one of his like big techniques. Um, and it, I think that's in relation to mime, but I've done it as like almost like a half mime. But like the main character, um, Zofia, who's played by Lottie, she can't say anything that isn't already in the poem so her lines are only what's the lines in the poem so every other conversation that she has every other interaction she has has to be um put through her body and her face for her to express how she's feeling and it's to um symbolize the repression of men and how we can only speak when when we're told to speak and stuff like that and a limited voice for a woman um he also uses shakespearean language and this is another thing which to be honest, after I, I wrote everything out and then after like the second week I was going over my research, like what more techniques do I want to use? And I saw this one and went, yeah, okay, that's actually really cool because I love the Shakespearean language. I think it's beautiful personally. I know it's difficult, but it is beautiful. And I wanted to use it 
to symbolize like the the men it's only the men who are using that language lottie is using just the english that's in the poem but the reason why only the men are using shakespearean language is to um is to symbolize their uh old-fashioned views on how a woman should be treated and it's just more of like a knock on the head of um, how old-fashioned they are in their mindsets and it comes out in the way that they talk which is why i use that and i translated everything from my english script over to my shakespearean which was um difficult but worth it in the end because it it's just makes it that little bit more almost like intriguing to the audience I think as they watch it they can be like oh why is, why has she done that why why are they talking like that and try and figure that one out as well so it's more of a brain um exercise that than just sort of watching and having everything laid out for you on a plate like you would if you were to watch any other piece um and also simple sets costume and makeup so I wanted to go with simple black stage with black blocks and all of that sort of stuff but obviously we're probably not going to be on stage um so i'm going with simple backgrounds stuff like that um and like sim symbolic um costume and stuff like that for like george and alfie like when they're in the workplace they're wearing a tie over their blacks when there are people who are like younger they're wearing a cap or something just something along those lines so what are your visions for your piece, including the plot, the staging, uh, characters, themes, structure of the play, characterization, atmosphere, lighting, sound, set, props, costume? So uh, the basic plot for the piece is Lottie is looking for, um, I feel she's looking for like a, a partner who isn't a piece of um, rubbish, a partner who isn't horrible like the perfect man I suppose is how I would view it that's how I read the poem and that's what I think she's looking for and the piece the development is for her to grow and realize that she doesn't need the perfect man she needs to grow within herself love herself and be independent first before looking for that perfect man um and just like fighting all the odds of in like a male dominated world fighting all the odds of her just becoming something that she can be proud of um, and so it's divided up into many scenes. So basically the first line of the poem will be said by Lottie and then after that there'll be like a little mini scene to represent the opposite of what she's saying she wants. And it goes through like that until the end where it's just her stood on stage like representing like no I have worked on myself and she's um, tied up throughout the whole show so both her arms are tied with red ropes. Um, to either side of the stage and at the end she cuts them off and declares her independence and like um, she gets the promotion and all of that fun stuff and it's like a big resolution at the end that actually the only person that she really needed was herself and to be independent and confident in herself um, so the main the male characters there's eight I think and they're pretty nasty they're not very lovely people um, they just represent misogyny and um arrogance and stuff like that um and just the opposite of what she's looking for um but Lottie is playing Zofia who is um a mechanical engineer in an aerospace company which is quite a male dominated um area she wants to go into design and stuff like that and so she's she's just come out of university got her mechanical engineering um degree and she's gone off and she's gone off to Cheltenham and she's like trying to grow there but she's like by herself um and so she's got all this background of just like being quite an intelligent woman but not getting the right representation that she needs um yeah the main theme is obviously um feminism and independence which has been mentioned a lot um I doubt that there'll be many props because it's a very uh physical theatre piece and so there's not much need for props but if there will be it would be like maybe a suitcase with some or oh, it's not a suitcase a briefcase with some papers and stuff like that in to represent work and stuff like that um for costume i want the guys in all blacks with representation of of different scenes like different people because there's um eight different characters and only two male actors so different they're all blacks but like wearing a tie or wearing a cap or wearing their hair different but for lottie i this is this is very much an arto technique but I wanted her to be naked, not actually naked, obviously, but wearing um, a skin tight, skin toned bodysuit with uh, paint covering her indecencies, um, like red paint covering her indecencies. Just, I feel 
it sounds a bit crazy but that's going to represent more of the um objectify objectification of women and um how even though she's going about her life she feels indecent because like the view of man is that she's being indecent and everything that happens to her is her fault and all of that stuff um so yeah that sort of goes on like the sexual harassment side of things um and i think for music and like sound and stuff like that i think there'll be light there'll be sound there'll be light music over the top of small physical theatre pieces um just to add to that but i'm not 100 percent sure because i might make them silent and just make them a little bit more awkward and um difficult to watch in a way for the audience um what research have you done to support you in creating your piece? What historical, social, cultural, political context uh, of the piece? So I've researched into a lot of historical feminism, looking at um, Shakespearean era, so 1500s, and how that um, plays out um, and what sort of rights a woman would have back then. Um, and I've looked a lot into um, the pay, like difference in pay between a woman and a man in the aeronautical aero space, aerospace, I was going to aeronautical, it's not, aerospace um, field and that sort of stuff. And I've also um, researched a lot into Shakespearean language so that I could properly translate it over without it sounding a bit strange um, and fake because that was the huge thing that I came across. It, like you get these translators and you put them in and it sounds a bit like that's not right. But I've researched a little bit more into that so that I could edit it and make it sound a bit more flowy. <clears throat> but it's still being true to Shakespearean. Um, how will you manage the performance uh, and production roles within your team? And how will, you how will these be prepared for? So obviously I've got my production schedule with all my timescales and everything on it. And it's being updated constantly. Um, I take notes in every session that we have so I can say, okay, this hasn't been done. So when we get a call next week, um, we can look at that. And so at the beginning of each call, I'll say, okay, who's done this? Have you done that? If you haven't done that, what was the reason? Okay, cool. So we can solve that by this and just writing everything down and putting it all on the production schedule. So if things haven't been completed, they can be put on for a different day, so on and so forth. Um, and deadlines. So for like script learning, I understand that some people have more lines than others and more difficult lines than others. So the deadlines for script is different for each actor, but it's still just as important that they um, get it to me on that deadline and be off script by that deadline. Um, and research and stuff like that needs to be completed for a session. Um, and so that's been written down and people can check on the on there and then I'll be checking up on them when we're in the call. Um, identify the skills needed to be successful in this project, both as an actor and a director. How do you plan to meet the needs of both of these roles among with production prep? So again, for me, it was all my production, like my production schedule, my plans, my deadlines and stuff like that, group chats um group calls i've got like i take i do group calls even when we're not really in college um just to check up and do stuff um and you know keep in contact with people so that people can message me and say okay i was looking at this and doing this but i forgot what happened here or i i can't quite understand this bit and then i can i'm on like stand by almost to step in and be like okay cool so this is what you need to be doing here and this is how you're going to achieve that you know and just being being there for support as well as having it in my google drive in my everyone folder saying okay this is what you need to be doing by this date um and the same goes for amelia's group where i'm an actor to be honest um but i think the one thing that i do differently in amelia's group is whenever she sets a task i complete it as soon as it's set and that way i know then that it's out of the way i've done it to the best of my ability and then i can leave it and focus on my group again because um I feel like I'm more dedicated to my piece obviously because it's my piece but I want to be dedicated to Amelia's as well because I know it's important to her like mine is to me and so just knowing that I can complete that and be like okay look I've done that now I'm going to go focus on this but then I have dedicated time that I'm with her and dedicated time that I'm with my group and so I can um say okay I did this and this is that okay because I know um, maybe I rushed it or maybe it wasn't quite what you wanted just yet you know and so it's just keeping in contact and keeping an understanding between directors and actors and stuff like that. 
Um, what resources do you think you'll need? So obviously editing software on my computer, which I'm struggling because my computer doesn't have a lot of space, but I'm hoping my boyfriend will be able to help me with that um, so that I can edit it and it doesn't look like a botched job because I don't want to have to perform it live on like Zoom or Teams or something like that um, because that I don't like the way it looks, it wouldn't work, you know, and I've already started planning shots and stuff like that, so I need some editing software, and I need to buy Lottie's skin tight suit on Amazon, but that's not that bad, because I'll order it to my house, paint it, and then send it over to her, um, so that should be pretty easy. Um, what skills have you developed through the previous projects to support you now? So, obviously, I've done a lot of leadership in, um, in last, pro in, past pro projects um so i have a lot of um skills in leadership time management and organization i was something i'm very used to so it's not out of the blue for me to be in charge like this it's nothing new and so that's kind of cool um going into the next question what two skills will you be focusing on developing i think as an actor it will be acting underneath somebody completely because normally even if we're doing another we're doing a different project and I am an actor and I'm completely underneath like um, Lydia and stuff I tend to take the lead role anyway and so it's cool to be able to step back and sit down and be like no this is actually your thing now so you can do everything and I'll just like do whatever you want me to do I'll be here for you you say jump and I'll say how high you know and so it's developing that skill of being able to sit back and be like that's not my not my place that's your place and just like um that sort of stuff as well as um naturalistic naturalistic acting because i will be doing a lot of naturalism in amelia's piece but in my as a director the skills that i've been doing uh needing to um develop is how to lead without getting overwhelmed because one of my actors isn't the best at doing things online on time and um isn't the best at showing up and so that's overwhelming and kind of frustrating and getting really I'm getting very emotional about it and so a skill that I'm going to have to work on developing through these next few weeks is not getting emotional about it and just figuring out ways to solve that problem and getting through that so yeah that is my thing. <laughs>